Welcome to this tutorial on uploading videos to Blackboard using Kaltura. First thing you'll need to do is go to www.mclennan.edu. When the page loads, you'll click Blackboard at the top. Go ahead and log into Blackboard. Once you're in Blackboard, you'll click the course that you would like to add the content to, and then click Content on the left-hand side. Here you can create a folder or use an existing folder. Once in that folder, go ahead and hover over Tools and click Kaltura Media. Here you'll type a name for the video. You can add some text if you would like. And once you've done that, you'll go ahead and click Add Media. When the upload box pops up, you'll want to click Browse so that we can find the video that you want to upload. And you can upload more than one file at a time. However, for this demonstration, we're going to upload one video. So select the video and click Open. And click Upload. Once the file has uploaded, you'll click Next. And here you'll need to enter a more descriptive title if you would like, some tags, and you can put a description in. Once we're done typing in this information, we're going to go ahead and click Next. Once it processes, you can go through and you can customize some options as far as the way you want the video to show up. Uh, do you want to keep track of the number of views, a specific time frame? Once you've done that, click Submit in the bottom right of the screen. And now the video will show up in the folder that you selected earlier. This time we're going to upload a video from vBrick. So you'll need to open Windows Explorer. And if you do not have a V drive, Go ahead and click Map a Network Drive at the top. Drop down the letters and choose V. And for the folder, type backslash, backslash, media01, backslash, and your username. It'll be the same username that you use to log into the computer. Make sure Reconnect at Logon is checked and click Finish. You'll have another Windows Explorer window pop up, and you'll notice this time there is a V drive. That means it's mapped properly and your files should be in there. Go ahead and hover over Tools again. We'll click Kaltura Media. Here you'll go ahead and type in a name and you can type in descriptive text as well. Once you've done that, you will click Add Media. And once the upload box appears, you'll click Browse. And this time you need to click Computer on the left-hand side. Go ahead and scroll down and find your V drive. Click that. Open that up. Select the video that you would like to use and then click Open. Now you can click Upload. And once it's done uploading, you'll go ahead and click Next. You can type in a descriptive title, you can provide tags for the video, and you can also type in a description here as well. Once you've typed everything in, you'll go ahead and click Next. And you can go ahead and customize the options that you would like, again, the same as we did before. And when you're done, click Submit. And now you'll have your VBrick video as well. So that's how you upload videos to Blackboard using Kaltura. You can go ahead and log out, and you're all set. As always, you can navigate to mclennan.edu, hover over Connect, and click Text Support. Here you'll be able to find the phone number for the help desk as well as the email address.
and you can perform online chat with a help desk representative. There is also a frequently asked questions knowledge base. Here you'll find information from previous issues or frequently requested information. That's www.mclennan.edu forward slash tech dash support.